She is jealous that you have a higher purpose outside of her. She's fearful that you may surpass her in self-improvement and become better. That you will be too good for her. This is why she fear you on semen retention. This is for those dudes who are on semen retention in a relationship and find that their girl is not supportive of it. This is why. Think about if you grew up in the hood. Maybe you haven't, but maybe you still can relate if you grew up, you know, if you, you know, college, high school, whatever, right? Think about those friends that you had that you outgrew, you no longer hang out with. Why is that? I just said it because you outgrew them, right? They may have sat around and played video games when you were younger and you may, you may enjoy that, but eventually you outgrew that, right? Maybe you wanted to start getting into girls. Maybe you wanted to start getting your own money. You, you no longer wanted to accept allowance or ask your parents for money, so you got a job. Those friends have jealousy for you. Why? Because they fear of you outgrowing them. They fear of you becoming better. And this is the same thing when you practice senior retention in a relationship if your girl is not supportive of it. Now, if she's supportive, okay, but this is for the guys out there who ask, why do they girl go against semen retention? This is why. She needs you enslaved to sex so she can control you. I always say this all the time. You are a slave to your sexual urges because you are. Most men are. And this is their power. This is the only power that a woman has over a man. 100%. The succubus spirit, the Jezebel spirit. Without this, they have no power over men. Now in life, that's something different. I'm not here to say whether they do or they don't. I mind my business. But I know over men, the only power I ever seen women have over men is sex. Everything roots back to being enslaved sexually. A man not having control over his sexual urges so he allows the woman to do what she needs to do or treats him any type of way or disrespects him or cheat on him or talk bad to him or whatever because his end goal is vagina. So if you practice semen retention, you are going against this. You are going against female nature because semen retention is teaching you to have control over your sexual urges, which women do not because this is their power. So why do you expect for them to be otherwise? Why do you expect them to be pro semen retention? You're taking away their power. Her ego becomes challenged and she seeks sexual validation. I experienced this when I was in a relationship. When you, if you choose to, inform your girlfriend or your wife that you are doing senior attention, their ego is going to be challenged and they're going to know that they're good enough. So they will provoke you, wear seductive clothes around the house, say little sexual things, maybe send you, maybe send you news, whatever, walk around the house naked, whatever, you name it. Because her ego is challenged now. Now she wants to know, well, damn, am I hot? Damn, any society has her program that any real guy, every man can't resist vagina. No man can resist vagina. Especially if you're attractive. No man is turning down an attractive vagina. So now her ego is challenged because she wants to prove to herself that she's good enough. I'll give you an example. I had conversations with women where they tell me the reason that they're, they like when a guy comes fast, orgasms fast, but not in the sense like a couple minutes or a second. I'm talking about like, if you ask most females where well, they want a guy to go for 10 minutes or two hours, most of them are gonna say 10 minutes. They even got videos of YouTube on it because they say they don't wanna have sex that long. And then you even have women who say that it makes them feel like their vagina is bad because it's like if my vagina was so good why are, are you, why are you able to go so long in it without having an orgasm? So their ego is challenged. So it's the same thing when you're on semen retention. It's like, 
Damn, why, if I'm so attractive, if I'm so sexy, if my vagina is so good, why are you able to go without it? Is it bad? Is my vagina just not good enough that you, can, you, you need, you have to have? You're able just to go without my vagina? It's ego, man. Don't let, don't let society make you believe men are the only ones full of ego and pride. Everybody has ego and pride, men and women. And that ego kicks in when you are able to do without her vagina. She feels like her vagina is not in, you know, adequate. She feels like her vagina is less than. Well, maybe it's just not good enough. Because if it was really good enough, he wouldn't have been able to go out and go without it. And, you know, it's the same as a man. You know, thinking from your point of view, because it, it just hit me. Now I'm just going off the head. I ain't even going off this now. It just hit me, but... um. Think about it. If, if, your, if your woman was able to go long periods without your, your penis, would you feel some type of way? I know I would. I ain't going to lie. I'd be like, damn, okay. So either maybe you're getting penis on the side or, you know what I'm saying, my penis is just not that good. You know what I'm saying? And this is not being necessarily inferior as a man. I'm rumbling a little bit. But I'm just saying, I can, you know, you have to be, sometimes you have to be understanding to circumstances and situations. So it's not so mind blowing. Like it's not mind blowing that she will feel inferior for you be able to go long periods without her vagina. Because if your girl was able to go months without your penis, I would hope you would feel some type of way. I know I would. It's not me being insecure. I would just be like, damn. You mean to tell me you can go months without my penis? And not, not by choice, like we, we're, we're separated. Like we can live in the same house and you can do months without my penis? Either you sleeping around or you know, it's just not, it's not all that. So you have to be understanding to that and be aware of that. That way you can know how to maneuver that. When you are practicing semen retention, you and your girl are not in this together. <laughs> Y'all not in this together. I told a woman that I'm doing semen retention. This is my life source. It's my energy. I'm, you know, I, 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 I said something. I can't remember what I said. Something about energy. And she said, I want it. And I said, I know you do because I'm red pill and I'm hip to these type of things. And I just said in a mad way, we both laughed. But I know, I know you do. We are not in this together. So don't be fooled when you practice semen retention. Don't be so butthurt if your girl doesn't jump on board and she doesn't, doesn't support. That's the point of this video, King. It's so you can expect these things and understand these things, not get so angry or treat it like the devil. But understand the reasons why she is behaving like this and know how to counter it. It's like boxing. You want to know how to counter, right? Block, counter. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, drop down in the comment section what you need advice on. What video topics you would like for me to discuss next? Don't be afraid to join the community and discuss with other brothers in the comment section. Also, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. If you're new to the channel, till next time, Alpha Sensei, salute.